Blurt forecast 50s at 8 a.m. 65 at noon 67 2 p.m. Uh, and the high today 69 degrees ladies. Some breaking news. Our photographer actually had to take cover during a double crash in Cleveland overnight. Our cameras catching the moment a car crashes into a fire truck, leaving that car. Another car flipped over Now that fire truck was on the scene of an earlier crash. Three people, including two young children in that flipped car, taken to the hospital. Now, both of these crashes happening about 30 minutes within uh, each other, right at East 79th and Kinsman. 19's Noel Williams. Live outside of Metro Health this morning, Noel. I know you've been checking and updating us. Do we know, have any idea how these people are doing? Yeah, we know that at least three people inside that flip car, including two young children, were taken here to Metro Health Medical Center behind me. Thankfully, all stable, but the car that they were inside, that flip car they were inside, were a part of just a second crash that night. Let's start from the beginning. According to Cleveland Police Dispatch, they say that two cars were involved in the initial crash on East 79th and Kinsman that resulted in one car hitting an RTA bus stop. Cleveland Fire and Cleveland Police arrived at the scene of that crash around 1 a.m. when a Cleveland fire truck was blocking off traffic from that initial first crash. Then about 30 minutes later, around 1.30 a.m., that's when a second crash happened. A third car went flying through the intersection, hitting and then flipping a fourth car with those two adults and two children inside. That third car also went plowing into a Cleveland fire truck that was blocking that traffic that initial crash. Cleveland EMS confirmed that one of those two adults and two children were taken here to Metro Health Medical Center and thankfully are stable. We did talk to one man nearby that bus stop of where that first crash happened. He shares his reaction. I hope they're okay. I got kids myself, so that's a tragic and a devastating thing to endure or see for anybody. Mm -hmm. But we definitely praying for both parties, whether you caused it or didn't cause it, because for sure, we want them to be able to be able to come back to their senses and realize whatever they did. Hopefully, they think better choices, make better choices. We need to do better things, man. Well, thankfully, those two children, that adult, are stable. There's still a lot of questions to be answered whether the person that flew through that intersection was arrested, where they are now. But I do want to make a point that that fire truck that was hit at that intersection, thankfully, they were there. We were told that if they were not there, possibly policemen, fire personnel could have got hurt. Maybe even more people could have got hurt. But for doing as we know more information, we'll make sure you guys at home are the first to know. Reporting live at Metro Health, Noel Williams, 19 News. And on the Browns beat this morning, it's not a good one. The Browns dealing with really two losses right now. The Monday night football game against the Steelers and also our star run.